Samsung is looking to finally level up. After swallowing their pride and letting Qualcomm take the control, Galaxy S23 series is finally looking great for all markets. We have our first powerful look at the Galaxy S23 Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 benchmark. And well, 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 looking at these scores, Samsung has leveled with the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus. A very reasonable jump in both single and multi-core scores. This also confirms that we're going to see 8 gigs of RAM on the Galaxy S23 base model. Now again, this is the base model and these scores could improve even further on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The chipset for the Galaxy S23 series will be the most important upgrade over the previous generation because this will decide how good the battery life will be on the S23 lineup along with efficiency and heat management. Now Apple A16 still remains the king of benchmarks. With that being said, it's going to come down majorly towards optimization even the Pixel 7 Pro was able to hang pretty well against the iPhone 14 Pro in my speed test. So if Samsung is able to nail the optimization, then they could actually beat Apple in real day-to-day -day performance. Again, let me know what you think about the scores in the comments below. Also in the news, the Galaxy S23 series could pack the fastest RAM in history of smartphones. Yes, Samsung is looking to pack the LPDDR5X RAM, the latest one, with 8.5 GB per second speed, which is about 1.3 times faster than previous generation and has a 20% better power efficiency. It's been confirmed that Samsung is testing out this new RAM on Snapdragon chipsets, meaning very likely it's going to be on the Galaxy S23 lineup. It's not just the chip, the S23 series will also have other components that are going to be the absolute fastest in the industry. Also, for the dummy models for the Galaxy S23 series are starting to come out, so this is pretty much what we have seen in the factory CAD leak. The S23 Ultra remains the same as the S22 Ultra in terms of look, while the S23 and S23 Plus are now rocking that patternless camera design. Now Ross Young has also confirmed the colors for the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus and from the look of this, there's definitely not much of a new addition. Again, things can change. Last time Samsung surprised us with some really cool color options on their online website, so who knows, they could actually bring more colors, even a bespoke option for the S23 series which will allow the customers to customize the look of their phone based on whatever they prefer so it's too early to judge lastly here we have the final rumored specs for the galaxy s23 and you can see we're actually getting a bigger battery this time around along with the snapdragon 8 gen 2 but other than that it's looking pretty much similar to last year's model again there could be a new ultra wide along with a new front camera sensor that we still don't know about we're definitely gonna get more details in the coming days so there we go these are the latest leaks for the galaxy s23 S23 lineup. Again, make sure to subscribe to keep updated with all that's happening in the world of tech. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.